I've wanted to explore the headwaters of this river since I first fished its middle reaches many years ago. Since then, I have studied many maps and documents about access to the upper reaches and heard tales of big, hard-fighting rainbow trout. Time ran out for me to explore the headwaters this season, but an opportunity came around to fish with a group of friends from the last road access up to my planned future starting point. Good friends are made. If they still travel with me after this, then uh, you know it's uh, it's a good friendship. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> They've gone for the eggs on toast. Then we could have. Um, or would I say Barry's gone for the uh, pepper with eggs on the side? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We made our way along the coastline and through pasture towards the start of a long windy gorge. Hey. Maybe less bumpy when you drive? Yeah. Gee, trying to film here. The river has many kilometers of fishable water in the gorge with great access but it is the less accessible headwaters with tails of big rainbow trout that appeal to me. So we were heading to a station at the end of the public road where we would stay in a cottage next to the river, a perfect base to explore the upper river from. The cottage was pleasant with plenty of room and based right on the riverfront. We were greeted by some friendly piwaka waka as we unpacked and talked to the owner, itching to get to the fishing. There wasn't much time remaining that day, so a plan was made to quickly explore the section in front of the cottage before lunch, and then another section slightly further up that afternoon, leaving the main exploration for the next day. Oh, we made it to the river. This should be pretty cool. I'm fishing with Barry, Brian and Lloyd for the weekend. Should be a pretty good trip. Looking forward to exploring a lot of new water. After making our way down to this beautiful section of water, we quickly found fish, small ones and lots of them, but nothing of the size I had heard about. Oh, a little one. Me and Brian in at the same time. Yeah, I've got a little one as well. A little rainbow. Cool. It was hard to get Brian off the river for lunch. He used to live and guide in the area, and being the source of some of the big fish tails, he persisted. He came back late for lunch, telling us he hooked a couple of big ones. After we were gone, of course. We finished our lunch before making our way down to the other section. This was slightly further up where we could park our vehicles on the riverbank. Things here went much the same for us, with a string of small rainbow trout jumping on the line, but no big one. Yep, a little one. There we go. Little rainbow trout. Yes. That feels oh, not much better. No, it's a fish. Ah, came off. As I wandered up, I encountered Barry, who promptly hooked up in front of the camera. There we go, he did it. That looks like a nice fish too. Very good. Very cool, Mr. Barn. There he is. He's coming. There we go. That's a good fish, Mr. Barn. Good. There we go. While Barry's fish was a solid rainbow, it wasn't huge. At least we finally had real evidence of some good fish and optimism started returning. <laughs> Very nice work. The setting sun was catching up, so we made our way back to the vehicles where Brian and Lloyd were waiting already. Turns out Brian had a bit of a mishap with the mechanics vehicle he had borrowed while he was servicing his own in his old hometown. In the shoe, there's the key. 
Well, how did you manage to lock the door? Well, I don't know, that's the thing. Without finding a solution, we made our way back for dinner in Barry's truck. Ryan made contact with his mechanic who came to the rescue later that night. Rabbit pate has been eaten with the crackers, beans and meatballs, and cheese mixed in there. Mm. And multiple beans, different breeds of beans. All sorts going on here. He's setting up already for tomorrow. He's, he's on to it today. We even have a starter of soup. Homemade muesli. This little rod carrier is uh, proving itself useful. The big day dawned bright and sunny, and anticipation grew as Brian led us up river. The 40 minute walk up from where we parked was pleasant, following the stunning river. Our excitement grew as we climbed down back to the river to start fishing. Oh, just look at that! I immediately spotted some fishy shapes in the first pool and decided to hang back while the others went up to the next promising stretch. Oh, what a shame. I messed this up royally. Two fish missed. Two I spooked the pool missed. after missing a good fish and eventually oh, wandered upstream in frustration to join the group. The three of them were fishing a great looking run and in classic Barry fashion he hooked into a good fish as soon as the camera arrived. Nice, Mr. Barnes. Good fish? Lovely fish, Mr. Barnes. Oh, what a stunning fish. With Barry's stunning rainbow in the net, I regained my motivation and snuck back down to the pool where I had missed my earlier fish. Yes, got him. Got him. He's going crazy. Yes. Ah, oh, great fish. Great, great fish. Look at that fish. <laughs> Lovely rainbow. So happy with that one. Finally got a fish after a good fish after struggling a bit yesterday. Very nice. From here we kept on fishing up and the fishing was good. Yes. I managed a bunch of solid rainbows as we worked our way up river, exploring new water with each step. Yep, got him! Nice, fat silvery fish. Really cool, very nice. Yep, got him. What a lovely fish. Beautiful fat, great condition fish. We turned around after a late lunch, deciding to fish our way back down from where we jumped in the river to where the vehicles were parked. Yeah. 
I stopped at the first good looking riffle we had not yet fished and let the group go ahead. With another solid fish in the bag, my day was made, confident in the knowledge that it could only get better as you go further up, and looking forward to exploring that water next season. But the fishing wasn't done yet, so we settled in for the night with another good meal and a chat. The next morning dawned cold and foggy, so with a long drive ahead, Barry decided not to fish and Brian was heading back a different way. Barry dropped me and Lloyd on the river where a small tributary joins for a quick fish. Lloyd had had a string of dropped fish and was determined to land a good one. The first promising spot proved to be vacant, so we went up the tributary to a good spot I know. It wasn't long before the indicator dipped and the line came tight. Oh no! Unfortunately, it wasn't to be that day. Yep, got a fish. It's a nice fish too. I went on to suffer the same fate not long after, losing a good fish at the net and ending with a consolation of a couple of small ones. That did not matter. The trip was a great success and the forested headwaters are in my sights for next season. But that was not all. I fish alone a lot of the time, and this trip was a good reminder of just how much better a trip with good company is. If you enjoy my content, Please support the channel by subscribing and watching more videos. If you already do that and want to offer more support so I can make even better content, visit my shop at crazyaboutflyfishing.com. I have some merch available already and there is more to come. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.